Today we're going to be learning something about the Great Tribulation. And that is something, if you don't know that, I'm going to give us all a lesson on how to be saved. Because if you're not born again, by the time you get, we start going to heaven is in Revelation chapter 4. And now we have to understand this. This is a praise service that we're learning. Probably no greater contrast is seen in the entire Word of God than found in Revelation chapter 4, where we believers are going to be raptured to be with the Lord. And then in chapter 5, that is a praise service. And just a few things in here will break your heart when you find out how bad things are. But we're going to be raptured, and I want you to read these. You've got to write these down because I could never give them all to you. But anyway, I'm going to give you just a little right here. Revelation 6, 17. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? This is what you have to understand, how bad things are in these lessons in the last book of the Bible, Revelation. So if you don't know Christ today, I'm going to ask you, if you know him, let me tell you, you to begin to read the Word of God starting in Revelation chapter 4. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. And you see, the thing that you have to understand about all of this, Christ went to the cross to die for every person in the world. He shed his pure blood for us, and we're to honor that blood. And that is in us, and here he is being beaten with this thing, that this right here, 39 stripes, he was beaten. Instead of going to 40, that is a, Israel's number, and he was beaten so bad that he put, they put this on his head, and then he was beaten with this. And he loved us, everyone, the same. And he has given us our blood, pure blood. We're to honor that blood. It's in our bodies, just like the Spirit of God. We have to know the Word of God. And he says in his Word, everybody should know how much he loves us. How much time do you give him studying his Word and giving him the worship that he needs? And then, ye are not your own, for you are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. And then you think about what has happened to him. It is the greatest gift. God gave us his son. And then he gave his own son to go to the cross and die for every one of us. And he loves us all the same. There's no such thing as having somebody telling someone what to do rather than reading the Word of God and seeing how much he loves us. Now, let's just think about this in chapter 4. And after this, I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven, and the first voice which I heard was, as it were, a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will show thee the things which must be hereafter. And now we see, if you read these, you're going to understand what happened to him. He got us in heaven. We went to heaven. Every person has to understand that this is not where we are, are, are going to be. We are going to go from the Re Revelation chapter 4. And these people that are here now, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and the trump of God, 
and the dead in Christ shall rise first. And we're going to already be there. And see, this is something you have to understand. Then we which are alive and shall be called up together with them in the clouds to meet them in the Lord. So shall we ever be with the Lord. So here we have the blessings of the being in heaven where there is, we have mansions and the, we have pure gold. And here we are, the people that are left behind. This is why I'm studying the great tribulation we are raptured to be with the Lord in Revelation 4. And then this great tribulation comes. And when you read these things, the tribulation, the day of God's vengeance, the time of the end, indignation, this is the time of trouble such as never was, Daniel 12, 1. I'm not going to give you this whole thing because it take me all day. Overspreading abomination. The great day of his is the hour of his judgment, the hour of temptation. And this is, in that day is used 50 times. And they don't have anything in there for all of us. And we see what he has done for us. We people that are not saved to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto thee. You see, this is what we have today. And this, the Holy Spirit, greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Everything we have to worship this moment right now, everything we have comes from him free. And why aren't people worshiping him and trying to reach those that's never heard these truths? And this, but as many as receive him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. We're, we are saints of light. And the people that don't know Christ are in darkness. I pray for them that he will take them out of darkness into light, out of the power of Satan unto God, to even to them that believe on his name. And for all of you people that don't love one another, he that loveth not knoweth not God. This is what's breaking my heart, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And this is one of the greatest prayers that I pray and give it to more people because if you hate someone, you are a murderer. I say unto you, this is my favorite Bible verse, love your enemies, do good to them that curse you. This is bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. This is why I'm here today so you can receive Christ as Savior because this day is coming that I have to show you that because my heart was aching to think God did not make hell for people. He made hell for the devil and his angels. And here we are. He has got mansions waiting for us. When we are raptured to be with the Lord, here's what we see. As we see this, it is so amazing. I just showed you what this means, that we are going to be raptured to be with the Lord. And look at this. Here we are in going up. We have a body, a new body. We don't have this body. And he gives us everything that is ours. And here, we're all in heaven now. And that's where you go because he says if you, he gives you the greatest blessings as you go to heaven, he gives you his rewards for serving him. You're going to be rewarded for serving him. And that's what he's doing here. And look at you bowing down to him. And what about giving this word of God? You see, you eat your food every day. And that food comes from him. And 
this Bible must be read every day. And this is what's breaking my heart. Because if you're not born again, this is what's going to happen. And this is going to break everybody's heart. And if we don't know him, then we don't receive anything from God. And then I, I hate to even begin to start on these lessons. And then, now I want you to read Revelation 5, Revelation 4, Revelation 5, and Revelation 6. And in Revelation 6, 12 through 17, prayer meeting is held on earth, attended by every strata of society, praying for the rocks and mountains to fall upon us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. You see, that's what they were doing, praising God and asking God to take them to hell. And I think I left that at home. I'm sorry about that. But anyway, they were crying for the rocks and mountains to fall on them in the book of Revelation 6. And this is the most amazing story in the world, beginning in verse 12. And now you have to understand this because this is what is happening to the people that have been left on this earth, the seven year tribulation period. And they are here with this. And listen what it says. And I beheld when he had opened the greatest gift in the world would be that it would be from God. But this is not from God. The sixth seal. And in there were a great gift, great earthquake. You don't get gifts you see, these people are getting gifts for serving the Lord when they went to heaven. And here he says, a great earthquake and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair and the moon became as blood and the stars of heaven fell from the earth even as a big tree and is shaken of a mighty wind and the heaven this is departed as a scroll when it is mild together and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. This is the first thing that happens in chapter 6 before they had to give the stop that. That was the first First, this is the one, when I read this, I saw when the Lamb remembered one of the seals, and I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder. One of the four beasts saying, come and see. These are the animals that come. And this is what you're going to be seeing, the animals that are coming. And that is the most horrible thing in the world. This is the prophecies of the activities of the two beasts on the earth after the church has been caught up to heaven to be with our Lord. Now that's where we're going to be. We don't, it's the greatest gift in the world. And you don't need to be on this earth during that time because God makes ways for us. And then he says, the first beast appears out of the sea. The second comes out of the earth. And that is Revelation 13. And I'm not reading all of these to thee, but you have to read them and understand them. Read chapter 12, Revelation 12, Revelation 13. And now this is, both are Satan-controlled men. You see, you have d enemies that you can't even know how to teach them or how to love them. And this is, we're in heaven now. This is, you have to understand this. Both are Satan-controlled men, a trinity of evil dragons, 
two associates, dragon, the beast, the false prophet, satanic trinity, Satan's imitation of the divine trinity. And then in Revelation 16, 13, Armageddon, the Antichrist is already here. And this is Antichrist appears in Revelation 16. And then the last Bible verse in chapter 16 is hail comes down from the storm. And it is, uh, the hail is 100 pounds. You see why I'm concerned about everybody? I want them to know that this is already beginning to happen. And this is why you must know Christ and that it's the best thing you can do. It doesn't touch anybody but you and it's gifts. You become his inheritor. Everything is from him, is our inheritance. And this is why you have to understand the children. Now listen at this. Our children are being taught different things than what we have. The children warned against apostates who die the true deity of Christ. You see, this is what breaks my heart is because you have no one that tells you unless they love you. Now listen at this. 1 John 2, 1 John 2, you see, every one of these are for us, every one. 1 John 2, verse 18. Now, I just want you to think about how much he loves us. You don't know that unless you read this word of God. And this is 1 John 2, 4 and 3, I'll read that first so you can understand real fast. And this is the greatest gift in the world that he has given us. And every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that part, this is that most amazing thing that can happen to people, the spirit of the Antichrist, whereof you have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. A great gift, ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them because this is the greatest gift that anybody, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You see what we have? And then why are people not obeying and teaching the word to people? We can, we can do everything that God wants us to do. And I want to serve him when I get to heaven. That's what he's going to have for us. We're going to be able to do that. So first, first of all, for, for the second chapter of First John, and when you read this, this is another Bible verse in that. Little children, little children, it is the last time, and as you have heard that an Antichrist shall come even now, He's already here, our met man, antichrist, many antichrists, many antichrists. And this is what you're going to be. You're going to have all of those beasts, the antichrist, Satan, and all the enemies. And the antichrist is going to be here with, on the same time that all of these beasts start. And this is why you have to receive Christ today and not obey the people around you. Read the Word of God. The things that I want you to do is to read the first John, second John, and third John. And now, they, you can't go to the Old Testament and learn until you have received the gift you have to know Christ. And then you listen to these in the last books of the Bible, 
First and Second Peter and learn what we need instead of listening to the evil things around us. And now I've just prayed for this prayer because my heart has been aching. And I want you to know that you can watch my program on YouTube. It is there. Everybody can listen to that word. You can hear that and receive the gift of eternal life. And I want you to know I'm 87 years old. I have served the Lord for 50 years, giving out the word of God every week. And I love it for one reason. So all of you that are listening will receive the gift of eternal life. This is the greatest gift that I've ever had. And I want everybody to know that this is worth it all for me to be here today for you. God loves you. And think about not loving somebody. When you read the book of the first John, you can see what a blessing it is. He says, Behold, what matter of love the Father hath bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. We're, we're son of God. We're an heir of God. We're ambassador for him. We are to serve him every day. Therefore, the world knoweth us not. He was a, he, I'm sorry, because it knew him not. You see, you have to know him. Beloved, this now am we the sons of God and it doth not yet appear what we shall be, but we sh know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. We are to love the way he loves us. We are to walk the way he walks, never having anything to do with anyone that is evil or sinning against God. And then he says, and every man that hath th this b home in his, in his, I've got my, lost, lost my man, himself even at heel is pure. We are to be pure as he is pure. Every one of these are what we need. And he says, little children, it is the last time. And every one of us come to you so that we doeth the greatest righteousness and ever love him. And that's what we are to do. And this is how we are to love one another. Loving one another is the greatest gift. So we can see what he's done for us, and we want to do more for him the longer that we serve and enjoy. The doom of the unbelieving death, those that have died, is the last judgment for them. Second Peter 3, 7, But the heavens and the earth, which are now, by the same word, are kept in store. Reversed, reserved for you. And let me ask you a question. Let's think about what's going to happen when everything on this earth is going to be burned up after seven years. Everything we have is going to be left behind. He's got everything already in heaven for us. And this is why we can have perfect peace in heaven, and this earth has to be burned up. Everything on this earth. And we have had these all gifts all these years. Let's start reading the book of John. The book of John, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. 
50 times love is in that book. And there's no way that anybody can hate another person and know anything about what God has given to us with this book. And as you turn to any place in here, he says in chapter Revelation, and this is what he says, and behold, I come. This is, this is the most amazing thing for everybody for, to know quickly. And this is the greatest gift. My reward is with me. He's going to reward us for everything we do while we're here. If you give a drink of cold water in his name to those people that are serving the Lord, you're going to be rewarded. That's why he's given all of this to the people that were serving the Lord. And look what happened. It is the greatest gift. They give them back to him. They give them back to him. He says, I am the vine, ye are the branches. You see, they fell down and worship him. And they're even being rewarded for serving. And this is the greatest gift in the world. And I pray that this day has changed your life. And whatever you need, turn to the word of God. And you can't miss, miss anything on YouTube. And then he says, listen at this, every promise, God's justice and holiness, which will not suffer him to deceive, his grace and goodness, which will not suffer him to forget what God is like, his truth, which will not suffer him to change, which makes him able to accomplish and being fully persuaded that what he has promised, he was able, nothing shall be impossible unto you. And as we think about what he has done for us, what have we done for those around us that's never heard? This is the only thing in this world, the word of God. And as you read it, you can turn to any chapter and one of the things that is one of the best, I think, and I think all of you should understand this one because this is the Leviticus, Leviticus 26, and listen what he says to them. And five of you shall chase an hundred people, and a hundred of you shall put 10,000 to flight and your enemies shall fall before you by the sword. No evil shall befall us, no plague shall come nigh our dwelling. And he says that if we do this a hundred, praying for a hundred people, that for I will have, this is the most amazing gift in the world, matter and will and make you fruitful. He's making us fruitful today. Thank thee we are praying for 100 fold. Thank thee for hearing and answering our prayers today and we are rejoicing in thee. And we thank thee and praise thee that thy word says to go to all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. I've set before thee an open door and no man can shut it. And we're praying for those that are lost Bring them out of darkness into light, out of the power of Satan unto thee. And give us the greatest glory for the people that are lost. And those that need thee, we want to love them and do thy will to please them so they can know how great thou art. Thank thee for hearing and answering our prayers. Thine is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory. And all that's in the heaven and the earth is thine, and thou art exalted as head above all. All riches and honor come from thee. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.